Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer. I'm Reverend Angela Pebble. We're saying our prayers this morning in the parish of Musselbrook. In Musselbrook we worship on land traditionally cared for by the Wanarua and Camilleroy peoples and so we pay our respects to their elders past, present and emerging. Let us pray. This is the message we have heard from Christ, that God is light in whom there is no darkness at all. Glory to God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Our opening canticle is a song of God's herald. Go up to a high mountain, herald of good tidings to Zion. Lift up your voice with strength, herald of good tidings to Jerusalem. Lift up your voice, fear not. Say to the cities of Judah, Behold your God. See the Lord God coming with power, coming to rule with his mighty arm. He brings his reward for the people of God and recompense for those who are saved. God will feed his flock like a shepherd and gather the lambs in his arms. He will hold them to his breast and gently lead those who are with young. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Our psalm this morning is Psalm 33. Rejoice in the Lord, you righteous, for it befits the just to praise him. Give the Lord thanks upon the heart and sing his praise to the lute of ten strings. O oh, sing him a new song, make sweetest melody with shouts of praise. For the word of the Lord is true, and all his works are faithful. He loves righteousness and justice. The earth is filled with the loving kindness of the Lord. By the word of the Lord were the heavens made, and their numberless stars by the breath of his mouth. He gathered the waters of the sea as in a water skin and laid up the deep in his treasuries. Let the whole earth fear the Lord. Let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him. For he spoke and it was done, he commanded and it stood fast. The Lord frustrates the counsels of the nations. He brings to nothing the devices of the people. But the counsels of the Lord shall endure forever. The purposes of his heart from generation to generation. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he chose to be his own possession. The Lord looks down from heaven and surveys all the children of Adam. He considers from his dwelling place all the inhabitants of the earth. He who fashioned the hearts of them all and comprehends all that they do. A king is not saved by a mighty army, nor is a warrior delivered by much strength. A horse is a vain hope as a deliverer, nor can he rescue by any by his great power. But the eye of the Lord is on those that fear him, on those that trust in his unfailing love, to deliver them from death and to feed them in the time of dearth. We have waited eagerly for the Lord, for he is our help and our shield. Surely our hearts shall rejoice in him, for we have trusted in his holy name. Let your merciful kindness be upon us, O Lord, even as our hope is in you. <coughs> Excuse me. Almighty God, who has wonderfully created us in your own image and yet more wonderfully restored us in your Son, Jesus Christ, grant that as he came to share our human nature, so may we be partakers in his divine glory who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our reading this morning is from the first letter to the Corinthians, chapter 6. When any of you has a grievance against another, do you dare to take it to the court before the unrighteous, instead of taking it before the saints? Do you not know that the saints will judge the world? And if the world is to be judged by you, are you incompetent to try trivial cases? Do you not know that we are to judge angels, to say nothing of ordinary matters? 
If you have ordinary cases, then do you appoint as judges those who have no standing in the church? I say this to your shame. Can it be that there is no one among you wise enough to decide between one believer and another? But a believer go goes to a court against a believer and before unbelievers at that. In fact, to have lawsuits at all with one another is already a defeat for you. Why not rather be wronged? Why not rather be defrauded? But you yourselves wrong and defraud, and believers at that. Do you not know that wrongdoers will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived. Fornicators, idolaters, adulterers, male prostitutes, sodomites, thieves, the greedy, drunkards, revilers, robbers, none of these will inherit the kingdom of God. And this is what some of you used to be, but you were washed, you were sanctified, you were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and in the Spirit of God. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. The morning canticle is this hymn of the word. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. And he was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life and in the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness and the darkness has not overcome it. He was in the world and the world was made through him, yet the world knew him not. He came to his own home, and his own people received him not. But of all who received him, who believed in his name, he has given power to become the children of God. who were born of blood, not of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of a man, but of God. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us, full of grace and truth. We have beheld his glory, glory as of the only Son of the Father. And from his fullness have we all received grace upon grace. Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. God of peace, who brought again from the dead of our Lord Jesus Christ, the great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the everlasting covenant, Make us perfect in every good work to do your will and work in us that which is well-pleasing in your sight. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. This morning I am going to pray for unity and for peace. God the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ our only Saviour, the Prince of Peace. Give us grace seriously to lay to heart the great danger we are in by our divisions. Take away all prejudice and pride and whatever else may hinder true harmony, especially in your church. For there is only one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of us all, grant that we may glorify your name together, that the world may believe in you. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, our divisions and our confusions, but grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live for ever and ever. Amen. God of the nations, whose sovereign rule brings justice and peace, 
have mercy upon our broken world. Shed abroad your peace and into the hearts of all. Banish from them the spirit that makes for war, that all races and peoples may learn to live as members of one family and in obedience to your law, through your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. God, our refuge and our strength, you have bound us together in a common life. Help us in the midst of our present conflicts to confront one another without hatred or bitterness, to listen for your voice amid the competing claims and to work together with mutual forbearance and respect. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Lord and Heavenly Father, you have brought us safely to this new day. Keep us by your mighty power, protect us from sin, guard us from every kind of danger, and in all we do this day, direct us in the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of peace equip us with every good so that we may do his will and may he work in us that which is pleasing in his sight through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory for ever. Amen.